shot. Just using the pace of the delivery, and that will be four. That's a Sky 247.net Super 4. Of swing back into the right-hander. Lovely timing from the captain, Tom Cole Cadmore. A bit of a gift, really. Good pace on the ball, and it's leg side. Be two or three turns. Picks this one up. Whoa, that's a good shot. And don't forget that DP World donates a cricket kit for every six hit in every match. Feedback to Luke Wood, pitch it up. Yeah, picking up length quickly. Clocked on the head early, but this is a wonderful shot. In front of square, that tells you that Tom Collins. Dragging that from outside the off stump and into the road. That's the shorter boundary tonight as we've moved over to the other side of the square and it's been targeted. What an expensive start this is. Tom Cole Cadmo on underneath that bounce very impressively. That sounded crisp. We are seeing some hitting amongst these two. They're definitely enjoying the surface now. The captain of the Sharjah Warriors, make sure that you announce your arrival just the manner in which you did that in the last season. This is a good hit. Going straight. We've seen some runs off the bat of Martin Guptill straight. Now we'll see runs of Carla Cadmore's bat straight as well. Lovely stroke. Straight. Big ask for Mustafa to come in. He's only bowled one over in the tournament and to try and break this partnership. Ah, that'll go. It's unfortunate for the bowler. Gets the edge. Yeah, flying start, I must say by over the Warriors, this partnership is worth now 74, only on 43. Outside edge and third man was wider. Another boundary. One over seven. Shot. Straight down the ground. Brings up the 100. And Gola Cadmore's half century. That's his 34th half century in this format. 50 of only 26 deliveries. And remember, he got hit on his head. Oh, that's even better. He's got more of this. Outstanding hitting this from the skipper. Well, that six. Down the pitch he comes. This looks massive. Probably the biggest so far in this game. Look at this out of the ground. He pops, long hops. Here we go again. Superb from Cola Cadmore. That's three sixes in this over. He was the leg break straighter and he just went straight. 94 meters, the longest of the game so far, El. Wow, he has walloped this. It's six more. And the partnership of 101 from 53. And that too against one of the quickest bowler. It was a slow ball, I don't know why. Because if you got pace, especially when you're getting hammered, there's no point uh, bowling variation to two set batters. Now it's time to chat, uh, of course, to Tom Kyler Cadmore. He first will be signing the match ball. And that's for the DP World representative, Mr. Ibrahim Al-Najjar. Tom, obviously, first of all, congratulations. Uh, I'm sure it must feel pretty good knowing that you obviously had uh, an opportunity now to get the positive result here in Georgia. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's nice to kind of, we've come out uh, two from four. So obviously it's not been the most ideal start for us, but we've played enough good cricket to win two games and kind of it's keeping us in the hunt. Talk to us about your own innings. Started off obviously with a worrying moment and then you turned things around very quickly. Yeah. Well, uh, Obviously, it's never nice to be hit in the head, um, but yeah, it kind of woke me up. It was a great bumper, to be fair. So, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that, especially here at Sharjah, where it's normally a bit low. But yeah, um, and then thankfully, obviously, for me, it then came kind of quite good and uh, managed to get a couple away. 
What was your plan in that innings? Uh, we actually spoke about kind of being aggressive all the way through um, and just take the game on. And I felt that like the guys tried like tried to do that today, and it actually got us up to a competitive score. And then obviously the guys with the ball then managed to kind of actually restrict really well. We took early wickets. We kept taking them every time. I felt I could really do with a wicket here. Guys come in and would get one. So yeah, it was kind of about not taking a step back tonight, and I felt the guys did that beautifully. Yeah, in those situations now when you've got Alex Hales obviously playing really well, you would know him pretty well too. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking about in terms of trying to pull it back? It's just trying to bowl the best ball and make him play good shots to score his runs, kind of not giving him any freebies, bowl into our fields um, and just trying to like almost try and get him out. If you get someone like him out or you keep taking wickets, obviously it makes the chase a lot harder, whereas if he's not out at the end, they probably win with two over spare close win as well it did go maybe a little bit closer than you might have wanted possibly but what does it do for your team going forward yeah obviously it gives us loads of confidence um, I think all the bowlers stood up put their hand up showed what they could do tonight and then obviously there are little bits we could do with a bat slightly better but if you're getting over the line and you're still not playing your best game obviously it's a nice place to be because we've still got more to give well congratulations and good luck for the next game thank you